And the, in terms of the Internet of Things, there's research prototypes now, which I assume are being used by uh, intelligence agencies, of very small electronic circuits uh, that you can just put in paper or put and paint or on the, on the walls uh, that are, pa are powered by the GSM stations. And they, they operate as the GSM radio wave passes through them. It gives them enough power for a very small amount of time to do things. So obviously that tendency is going to continue. It's not the, like the internet of things. It's, it's uh, like uh, intelligent evil dust uh, scattered everywhere, like, like confetti in everything. So I think it's increasingly hard for human beings to work out how to deal with that and and the only way i the only way i can see is that as that we've got to securitize this problem. the people who run these companies it's a threat to them it's a, it's a, it's a threat to the most powerful people in society and to eliminate the notion that there's a place that powerful people can hide from or skilled people can hide from the array of technologies uh, often referred to collectively as geoengineering that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels.